Once upon a time, in a large bustling circus, a baby elephant was born. This wasn't an ordinary baby elephant, but a very special one with huge, floppy ears. His ears were so large that they almost touched the ground when he walked. The other elephants had never seen such big ears, and they laughed at him. The circus people named him Dumbo. Dumbo's mother, Mrs. Jumbo, loved her little boy very much. She didn't care about his big ears. She knew that each of us is special in our own way. She cuddled Dumbo with her long, comforting trunk, telling him, you are perfect just the way you are. The circus was a place of excitement and joy. There were jugglers juggling colorful balls, acrobats flying high up in the air, and clowns with painted faces making everyone laugh. But Dumbo, he felt out of place. His big ears made him different from everyone else. One day, while Dumbo was playing, a group of naughty boys began to tease him. They pulled his ears, laughing and calling him names. Dumbo felt sad and embarrassed. Seeing her baby in trouble, Mrs. Jumbo rushed over. She used her trunk to push the boys away, but the circus people misunderstood. They thought she was dangerous, so they locked her up. Dumbo was now all alone. Dumbo missed his mother terribly. His heart ached and he felt very lonely. He spent his days in a small corner of the circus trying to hide his big ears. One day, a kind-hearted mouse named Timothy saw Dumbo. Timothy felt bad for the little elephant. He knew what it felt like to be different after all, no one usually likes mice. So, he decided to be Dumbo's friend. Timothy told Dumbo, you are special, Dumbo. Your big ears make you unique. They can help you do something that no other elephant can do. Dumbo looked at Timothy, confused. What could he possibly do with his large ears that no other elephant could? Timothy explained, you can fly, Dumbo. Your ears, they're like big wings. All you need to do is believe in yourself. Fly? Dumbo? An elephant flying? It sounded impossible. But Timothy was so sure. He gave Dumbo a magic feather, saying, this feather will help you fly. With the magic feather in his trunk and Timothy's encouraging words in his ears, Dumbo took a deep breath. He began to flap his big ears. Slowly, with each flap, he began to lift off the ground. He was flying. His big ears, which he thought were a problem, turned out to be his greatest strength. Dumbo felt free and happy as he soared high above the circus. He saw the wide world from above, and for the first time, he felt special. He felt like he truly belonged. The news of the flying elephant spread quickly. Everyone was amazed to see Dumbo fly. The same people who laughed at him now cheered for him. Dumbo became the star of the circus. One day, in the middle of a performance, Dumbo lost his magic feather. He panicked. But then he heard Timothy's voice, Dumbo, the magic wasn't in the feather. It was in you all along. Believing in himself, Dumbo flapped his ears and flew high into the sky, just as he had done before. The crowd roared with applause. Dumbo was not just a flying elephant, he was a symbol of bravery and self-belief. From that day on, Dumbo was no longer the odd one out. He was the star of the circus, and everyone adored him. His big, floppy ears were no longer a subject of mockery, but of wonder and admiration. Even the other elephants, who once laughed at him, now looked at him with respect. Dumbo was happy, but he missed his mother terribly. His greatest wish was to be with her again. Timothy, seeing Dumbo's sadness, had a brilliant idea. He whispered his plan to the circus manager, and the next day, 
they had a special surprise for Dumbo. In the middle of his performance, Dumbo saw a familiar figure. It was Mrs. Jumbo. The circus had released her and she was waiting for him with her trunk wide open. With a joyful trumpeting sound, Dumbo flew straight into his mother's loving embrace. From that day forward, Dumbo and his mother were never separated again. They lived happily together in the circus, sharing their stories and adventures. Dumbo, the flying elephant, became a legend. He taught everyone that being different was not something to be ashamed of. Instead, it was something to be proud of because our differences make us special. And so, Dumbo's story spread far and wide, bringing hope and joy to all who heard it. Children would look up at the sky, their eyes shining with dreams and their hearts filled with courage, believing that if Dumbo could fly, they too could reach for the stars. And every time Dumbo soared high above the circus tent, he was a reminder that we are all unique, we are all special, and when we believe in ourselves, the sky's the limit. In the end, the circus became a place where everyone was celebrated for their uniqueness. It was no longer about who was the strongest or the most beautiful. It was about being true to who you are and sharing that with the world. And as for Dumbo, he continued to fly high, his big ears flapping in the wind, a symbol of strength, courage, and the power of self-belief. His story is a reminder that no matter how different we are, no matter what others say, we all have something special within us. And when we find it and embrace it, we can do incredible things. As the sun would set each day, the circus lights would glow and the audience would gather, their faces filled with anticipation, waiting to see the flying elephant. And amidst the laughter and cheers, high above them, Dumbo would soar, his heart full of joy and his spirit free, spreading his magic across the night sky. In his journey from being a laughingstock to a star, Dumbo taught everyone an important lesson our differences don't make us odd, they make us extraordinary. And so, Dumbo's story continues to inspire and touch hearts, a tale of a little elephant with big ears who could fly. A story that reminds us that it's our differences that make us special, and when we believe in ourselves, we can truly soar. And that, dear child, is the end of our tale. Good night, little one. May you have sweet dreams and wake up to a beautiful new day.